see here. Oh, there's some fun ones. I mean, when we look at things, I'm thinking 10 talons just <laughs> running all over the place like a parkour squad. We had the Cassiopeia. They even missed out one of the funniest things. It's possibly the, the most OP strat. It's just like five sets of grounded and you can never, <laughs> ever get away or a ring around someone. It'd be great. We'll have to see if one of those picks comes up later on in the match. We're kicking off IWC Day 3 with a bang. Southeast Asia will be taking on Latin America North. And this is a very important game because if Latin America North win, that means Japan and Turkey will end up locked into the final day bracket. So very important game because if Latin America North want any chance to make it to tomorrow, they have to win this game. And you can also see Southeast Asia, they're currently fighting with Brazil for that final spot from Team Fire. So they have to kind of pick up the win here and also later on in the day against Oceania if they want to be the ones that advance for Team Fire. Let's go through the rosters for this match. It's going to be starting with Team Fire's Vietnamese All-Stars from the GPL. Up in the top lane, it's going to be QTV. Levy will be heading into the jungle. In the mid lane, it'll be OP Optimus with the 80 Karen support being Celebrity and Ron OP. There's a lot of OP in the names there. We'll see whether they can be OP on the rift because they have to face down their opponents representing team ice latin america north in the top lane is porky in the jungle is oddy mid lane sia 80 carriers evan rl with their support nazul this is going to be an exciting match between latin america north here and southeast asia there's a lot on the line for these two teams all of them trying to find a way to get into day four of iwca and fight for that spot in the, in the all-star invitational so let's go through a little bit of housekeeping there is a restricted champion pool we don't have every single thing available there are a couple of champions that really not so great i was telling you earlier about alawi <laughs> i once went into just a, a regular one for all i was like this is going to be great there's going to be tentacles everywhere and she's restricted by the proximity between tentacles. So you can only have like two, even if there's five Alawi. So that's one of the champions that I'm not expecting to see. There's a whole host of others that aren't available, but we've still got the likes of the Blitzcranks there, the Gangplanks we've talked about, and I'm sure we'll see something else come through that we just hadn't thought about. Yeah, we have things like Thresh that could possibly come up. We saw Zach earlier in the play test. Unfortunately, they can't pick up, up each other's blobless, <laughs> so that wasn't really exciting. But enough of that, we're about to get into Champion Select for the first match of One For All. And of course, it is lottery pick here. So if you end up with a majority of three out of five, you will automatically get that champion for your team. However, if everybody locks in one different champion, we get to random and it doesn't mean there's that unity of a team picking everything. So uh, we are going through uh, the initial few seconds of the, uh, the, the draft before people will choose. This is them just deciding what they want to pick and what they want to take away. You know, some people might not quite, uh, they might think, you know, these are teams, they're gonna pick as a team, they're gonna pick all five champions and they're all just gonna get that champion they really want. But we heard from CIS earlier, uh, they were saying how they don't quite know what they wanna play yet and they're just gonna go into the match itself and pick what they want to pick right there and then. So there's a possibility we could get that lottery pick coming out. <laughs> there is a possibility. I, I'm just kind of laughing. You alluded to a play test that we were doing earlier just to make sure everything uh, works. There was like five threshes. That's kind of a scary thing. The Lux that was being talked about. Everybody's talking about Ezreal though. That is mm. the one pick. Everybody's saying this is the one. It's going to be played time and time again. And I don't really want to see 10 <laughs> Ezreals four times today. I don't really want something different. Well, who knows? There is that possibility. I mean, like you say, it can build absolutely everything. In fact, Here we've we seen go. him play tank before as well, but we're back oh. into Champions League and they're already looking to pick something up. It now. seems like Southeast Asia know exactly what they want to play here today. Now, here's one I hadn't thought of. Rise, <laughs> five Realm Warps. You could just be anywhere on the map. Now, the Lee Sin is what you're alluding to. and. So there's not too much analysis to go into one for all, but melee champions have one heck of a drawback in that you cannot really siege. You have to kill and then dive and hope you kill them with enough health that you can take towers down. So it looks like we're going to have Graves versus Lee Sin. You can even see Evan RL, he's locked in, right? He's like, guys, I want this, but 0% chance is getting yeah. that because Graves has been locked in for Team Ice. Graves against Lee Sin. <laughs> this, My goodness. This might be the least useful set of smoke grenades <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever seen. Ah, dear. Well, I mean, Southeast Asia are just going to go ham well, for this entire game. Southeast Asia do love their Lee Sin. I mean, they had SOFM, who was famous for his Lee Sin. Levy's had a few good games on it so far at IWCA, so big shout out to the junglers from Southeast Asia here. But, I mean, think about it on the other side. The Latam North team, five collateral damages. That execute damage, if somebody like steps out of line, it's gonna be like the broadside of a ship firing <laughs> off. 
Oh my goodness. And Graves, you know, he's a champion that's been seen playing in quite a few roles. You've seen him in the jungle, you've seen him top lane. You know, he can be played as an AD carry. That's what people thought he was going to be Support after the rework, kind of. Support smoke screen ish. <laughs> I do know one thing's for sure there's going to be a lot of armor in this game, stress. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's actually a good point. Graves just inherently has an advantage here <laughs> from the fact that he can just build armor against Lee Sin. Um, we'll have to see if anybody tries to go, like, any form of non-AD Lee Sin. I don't really know how, how effective that's going to be, but... <sighs> There's always that possibility. We'll have to see. It's going to be a bloodbath, I feel, though, because these are two champions that are just always out for blood, and we're about to get <laughs> onto Summoner's Rift for the match. <laughs> Head over to at LOA Esports to vote for your favorite team to win here. Use the hashtag SEAWIN or the hashtag LANWIN. So you'll see it when we load in. This is going to be a lot easier to tell who is on oh. the, the Adam North <laughs> team because <laughs> Southeast Asia have all gone for Muay Thai Lee Sin. <laughs> Good luck with this one, Fish. This is going to be interesting. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're getting on to Summoner's Rift for the first one for all match here. <laughs> Just look at him run out in a straight line. The boy Ty Lee Sin's already stressed. Oh, you're never going to know. The best camouflage. This is <laughs> it's like Attack of the Clones at this point. And I think I was talking to you earlier about this. When I, when I like to uh, commentate, I like to talk about the champions themselves. <laughs> so now it's like, oh, there's only one on each team. Oh, no, don't start this. <laughs> We got some biscuits. That's. Uh, They're all just laughing. <laughs> oh dear. SEA. This is going to be a fun game, I think. Eric, the stack is five. They'll never know which one's the real Lee oh, Sin. Team Ice is <gasps> they spot a QTV. Up. They don't know. They've checked one brush. Oh, they're gonna they're come going. Out. Look at all the Qs coming out from both. They all missed. Champions. But none of them decided to go in. They all missed. you got to fan them out. Spread out. Everybody fire at a different <laughs> angle and you'll start catching them. You can't fire it all in one line. <sighs> oh, we, can <laughs> <laughs> we can take a look at the starting items here. I mean, Triple Doran's blade on the side of Team 5. They have a target on Sprace. It's just like we have a support lease in for Ron OP. Both yeah. of them have a jungler. The rest of the Graves just have picked up all their Doran's blades. It would have uh, felt pretty bad for Nazul if he was in a game as Graves and they're still like, no, you need to start Ancient Coin. <laughs> you, need to, you need just to give us mobility. Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, no. I hope you remember the five Ds of dodgeball here. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Oh, Ron, Ron OP. clearly missed that message because he just takes a chunk of damage there. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, just the number of cues, the sonic waves coming out. <sighs> I'm looking forward to as we get a couple of items. <laughs> Well, we just got a chance to take a look at the Keystone Master as well. Thunderlords for every single lease in. For the side of the Graves, they've got three Thunder... Uh, sorry, two Thunderlords and three Warlords Bloodlust for the three carry lanes. Now, I wonder how SEA are going to play this. Are they going to do, like, the circle of safeguards where you just kind of dance around in a circle for a while? Or is it going to be the case if they kick one person back and they conga line him all the way back <laughs> into their base? Just constantly kick them in a straight line, get them back, and just pick off one graves. Well, that is a definite no, possibility for the Lee Sins here. I don't know whether it's the best strat because you've just used five ultimates and like everything else on well, taking out one I mean, person. If you kill somebody, then it's kind of worth it. Yeah. As they say. Kind of. Uh, you can see the, the, the difficulty of playing Lee Sin in lane against the ranged champion here. Yep. In all three lanes. Yep. Bottom <laughs> lane is having a little bit of a difficult time. They're keeping up in CS quite nicely to start things off. We can already see uh, Ron OP's burnt through his health potions after the initial chunking he got at level one. Levy trying to make his way oh, towards the go. mid lane for a gank on towards Sayer. Optimus now going to try and chase him down. He safeguards over towards the ward. Does get the slowdown, but Sayer does get behind his minion. Ward. Levy was trying to hold on to the Sonic Wave just until he gets into the lane so he could maybe try and follow up after a flash or a quick draw, but wasn't to be. Uh, we didn't really note on the summoner spells too much yet. C is actually running teleport from the mid lane as well, so a little bit of extra map presence for these graves. We'll see how they can end up getting into the lane. This could be a tricky spot because if you sit under the tower bot side, it could be a tough one. Levy's going back in though. Optimus has hit that Q. Now Sayer forced to flash away into his minion wave again. So Levy returning into that mid lane. And meanwhile, we were watching Adi down in the bottom side at the same time. If Celebrity and Ron OP stay under this tower, they have a fair amount of mobility, but remember that Q will detonate instantly if it hits the tower. So uh, if they stick in the wrong spot, nah, they've spotted out Adi. He should be fine. Yeah, Adi does move the Grump Camp 
Uh, sorry, the Krug camp back in towards the brush just so he can take it out without being spotted. He does make his way down towards the bottom lane. Levy's down here as well just to kind of defend this turret it seems. Smoke screen's gonna come out, deny some of the vision, but they should be able to farm up AOK. In fact, Celebrity ahead in CS against Evan RL. Yeah, and uh, just purely because of how the wave was kind of shoved in, Evan had to be very careful. Optimus, now, if he was six with Ignite, he would 100% go for that. Just from having the QR damage plus the Ignite would be enough to kill Seer there, because there's no flash, so can't avoid the uh, the ultimate. But only a level four, so not able to go through. And here's Seer's laning advantage. Well, not lane advantage, map advantage with that TP. Used the teleport to get back into his lane. Has picked up two long swords, as well as a couple of health <laughs> potions for himself. You can see Optimus <laughs> has gone back to base, got himself boots, as well as another Doran's Blade. Everybody is going to go Thornmail at this rate. Like, just everybody. We're going to have a lot of Dead Man's Plate in this game. Just stack armor, and eventually people just won't die, and I guess the Graves will just push the lanes Slowly and win push. at, like, 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Saigon, uh, sorry, GPL team here has a lot to do to try and get in on this one, because... With that range advantage in the early game, it's definitely helping the Graves out. But so far, Land America North not being able to do too much. Seiya is going to quick draw in towards his turret. Make sure Optimus takes a hit before he gets back into his lane. And Optimus isn't doing a bad job considering he's even on CS, even despite that teleport coming through. So uh, holding at a decent spot. And the Lee Sins have started to kind of catch up a little bit on a lot of the farm game. Nazul, smoke grenade will catch both. Oh, the, the double cancel. That's perfect. Perfect smoke grenade from Nazul. He's come, he's got back into lane, has three, <laughs> three long swords for himself. <laughs> uh, you were mentioning we're going to see a lot of thorn mail. I think before the thorn mails come out, we're just going to see a lot of swords yeah. between all these carries on um, both the teams. That's true. A lot of swords, which I don't know how that works with a shotgun, but <laughs> apparently it does. I mean, he's got two bullets. He just puts one long sword into each of the chambers, fires those <laughs> out. Uh, celebrity choosing not to go back to base here after Nozo cancel. They're getting a lot of damage down, but not enough mana Ooh. to quick draw another time to get into Celebrity's face. Now, if Celebrity has this happen again in a level or so's time, he's dead. Because two collateral damages, X is going to mark the spot there. And uh, it's going to spell the end. Of course, that execute on it as well. Makes it real good at just taking him out. Seiya <laughs> just walks in. Optimus flashing forward, trying to get the kickback, but Seiya quick draws in time. Now Levy taking a lot of damage from the Thunderlords. Oddy will quick draw over the wall. Oh. Damage misses, and he missed the second one as well. Splits the wickets there twice as Oddy and Seiya will not be able to pick up a kill. Oh dear. That was, uh, as you said, between, you know, splits the wickets. I'm not good with cricket. Something about a googly woogly at that point, but. <laughs> Tower's nearly down in the bottom lane. Evan RL's got to be careful. He's taking a lot of damage from the turret there. Ron OP able to micro his way out of a lot of the damage that came up from the two greys, but that bottom lane out of turret incredibly low. Optimus now going very aggressive on towards Oddy. Managed oh. to land the sonic but wave. See, this is the one. If he had the kick now, that would be when he's going in with that ignite. Um, but they, they used it, didn't get the kill. A lot of ults whiffed to begin with this. So Optimus and Levy go in, try and get Seiya, but Seiya quick draws away just at the right time and actually beats the flash kick uh, at that point. So isn't able to stay uh, on target with that. Oh, that's so... Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, no! Levy. Oh, Levy's dodged down right in the mind. The mind of Adi. He was that's sad. Live with less than 100 <laughs> health as well. We can see a couple of the champions have gone back to base and picked up their first set of items. QTV is gone for the Tiamat. You see the Caulfield's Warhammer being picked up by Levy in the jungle. Optimus here to go back to base for his second back, still sitting on his double Doran's Blade. We even see the Phage being picked up by Celebrity in the bottom lane. Optimus again being very aggressive towards Seiya, but Oddy is waiting in the wings with red buff. Levy's here as well. It's the Sonic Wave, decides not to follow up against the team Ice opponents, but Oddy now taking a lot of damage. Ooh. Q's going to come out and down. deal quite a bit of damage down on, over the towards Ultimus. There's the ultimate. There's the kill. As now there's action in the bottom lane. QDB will kick back near Azul. There's teleports coming in, but they're quickly cancelled. Evan RL's trying to get the heck out of there because Levy's down here. Gets the kick back. Gets the Sonic Wave. And it's two kills for the GPL team in the bottom lane. Despite the TP presence being for Team Ice, it's actually the four-man down in the bottom side that ends up picking up two kills. So two-for-one trade overall. That was an important sequence because you can see how low on the 
minimap the health of that blue tower in the bottom lane is, so it was an important save on that. Adi, got to no! be careful, didn't get the kick. <laughs> Ron OP, that was less than your namesake, my friend. He got right behind Adi, but was not able to get the Dragon's Rage off to kick him back. They do get some decent damage on towards the turret, but now Adi's going to be able to defend that one quite nicely. <sighs> That's... I mean, supports, I guess, don't really have a whole lot of time playing Lee Sin, and it is one of the more mechanically... Well, well, this is a man that made himself famous in Vietnam for being an assassin player. You'd expect a little bit more from him there. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it, the, the, fla the kick flash, flash kick, you kind of expect it, but I mean, who knows? At that point, that was the mid lane kill going through. Nazul gets stopped and shut down pretty heavily in that bottom side. And then Evan RL trying to run for his life, kick back. And that was all she wrote down in that bottom side. So again, despite the double kill going down, the, power, the tower pushing potential for these ranged champions, the Graves, is still there and they will get first turret blood. Yep, the first brick will be taken down in the bottom lane. Bottom lane out of turret falls for Latin America North. It's 2-1 on the scoreboard at the moment, but LAN does have a thousand gold advantage from that first turret kill. Seiya and Optimus trading blows in this mid lane. Neither one too afraid of the other. <laughs> and now we see the siege. Oh no, here it's comes. It's going to be four Graves here in the mid lane. Here come the Graves. They push on towards this mid lane outer turret. Ron OP is in the mid lane. There's the smoke screen. He's trying to nice sun. Vision Sonic Wave comes in. There's all in. the damage. Ron OP, you're a little bit overzealous there, buddy. There's two collateral damage. Take him down. All the lasers are there. They're being kicked <laughs> left, right, and center, knocking into one another. A celebrity's in amongst it. Another kick comes out. Evan RL is forced to flash away. The Ignite goes down. Celebrity picks up that kill. Seo's trying to run, but gets oh, attacked by the Sonic it. Wave. They're going back in. Celebrity's trying to take him down, but he's taking turret damage. Celebrity! Just not quite enough, and it's a double kill for Seiya. Two graves left, and three Lee Sins left up alive. Three for three overall. Madness in the middle lane. The turret goes down in favor of Latin America North, and they just push that one through, but then the, the sheer fighting potential, the, the mobility and the damage that comes out in a team like this, in a fight like this, Man, Ron OP, if he'd have been able to maybe do a little more in the beginning before he got taken out, this could have been a better fight for Team Fire. The double kick comes in, the old switcheroo, and it looks like Fire are winning this as they get a lot more damage out onto Evan RL, but they kite back and end up being put under the pressure a lot more as Seiya gets himself away and ends up being a little bit of a dance under the turret. Seiya had just too much damage for Celebrity to chunk through, and not a whole lot more that they could do in that situation. Yeah, the Warlord's Bloodlust in a dangerous game for Seiya, keeping himself alive underneath that turret. It's now 5-4, still in favor of the GPL team, but with that second turret kill, Latin America North are 2,000 gold up ahead of the GPL squad. Up in the top lane, Nazul has moved up here. Oh, bottom lane. Out, but Seiya's in a lot of trouble. Thunderlords comes out. TV's coming through. There are teleports coming down as well. The kicks come out. Both Resident Evil strikes will come in as well. Seiya will fall. The teleport was used by Borky. He's been exhausted. That is three least it's on top of him. He's going to be kicked in two directions, but he will eventually get taken out. Oh, will he? Waiting for the energy. Celebrity comes back in and gets another kill. And that's Team Fire getting a double kill down in the bottom side, but they're losing their top tower at the same time. They're about to push in. Optimus is zoned away in the mid tower, so this is the real difficulty Ooh. here is if they cannot take towers after they win. Evan RL, Whoa, he's just dead. Wow. Absolutely deleted. If if the, the team representing SCA can't, you know, take towers after they get the kills, it's almost impossible for them to hold on to the map. They can get super far ahead. But the problem is, all Team Ice have got to do is start grouping and pushing down towers faster and faster, and as long as they can avoid a prolonged fight, they should be okay. They definitely should be. You can see lots of Vampiric Skeptors being picked up on the side of Team Ice. Finally, Team Fire will be able to take down their first turret of the game. They'll be able to get some decent damage on towards the mid lane outer turret as well, so slowly trying to even up the gold disadvantage from those three turrets taken by Latin America North. Oh, not only the Vamp Scepters, we've got the Ninja Tabi coming out for everybody <laughs> as well. Ah, this is going to be a, a, a tanky game by the end of this. Graves getting all of that extra resistance just to try and last longer in the fights. And we see Porky moving up into the top lane, defending his top lane out of turret. Optimus going back in against Seiya, but he doesn't see Oddi and Azul close by. Will safeguard on over towards a minion and get back to the safety of his side of the map. As three members of Graves just slowly rotate around the river. Neither team has really looked towards the Dragons just yet. Ocean Dragon was the first one to spawn in this match. 
I want to see more collateral damage later. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I want to see just the, the the barrage go off, the 21 gun salute at that point. <laughs> I want to see more multi-direction kicks because that was yeah. really interesting to watch. You know, you fly halfway in one direction and suddenly change and go to the left. There is a lot to watch when that's happening. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, when you're looking at like what is happening in a team fight and five people just fly in different angles, it's not the easiest thing to keep track of. That's definitely not, but it is a very beautiful sight to behold. It's the first dragon of the game will fall to the GPL squad. They pick up the ocean dragon here. Picking up the ocean dragon. Now, I want to see the Latam North team picking up the pace a little bit because, you know, we, we kind of criticized them a little bit in the, the Summoner's Rift game and in the Assassin's mode that they sat back when Oddy wasn't really able to do too much. And I don't want them to fall into the same kind of trap because that's when they're going to get dove by five Lee Sins all at the same time. They need to be the ones actively trying to create pressure on the map. But you can see now the Lees are going top lane. Um, there's three of them going up there. Oh, the ward just died as well. Oh, Porky. He's going to be able to quick draw over towards this turret. Ron OP hits him with a sonic wave, trying to kick him backwards. But Levy oh. will follow up with a kick of his own. Porky's in a lot of trouble, trying to quick draw in amongst his minion wave, taking a lot of damage over time from the red buff. The final sonic wave connects. The damage will be just enough for Levy as they take down Porky. But Oddy is a little bit angry. Meanwhile, Celebrity and Evan are ill going toe to toe. Collateral damage will come out. Celebrity is going to be able to kick him backwards. The United is ticking. One more attack's enough, but he doesn't even need to do just said as he looks at him and FNRL will fall down. And in these small scale fights, you can see the Latam North team are just struggling to kind of match the pressure when it comes to three people diving top lane. The rest of the team's kind of moving from mid to top side to rescue him, but it's not in enough time. And that leaves FNRL in a lot of danger down in the bottom lane, despite having Death Stance completed already, just gets taken out. One versus one by Celebrity who just walks right through him. Meanwhile, Optimus and Oddy, they fancy a fight here. Not much energy left for the Lisa. Collateral damage oh. is going to come out, but the end of the line is not going to come back and hit Optimus. Needed another auto to come through on that one. So this is Nazul in the middle lane. Did Optimus just walk in and kill him? Is, is, we didn't see this on the main screen, or is it Optimus going too far? Oh. Uh, oh. Ooh, the Ignite got him. The Sonic Wave, maybe if the Ignite hadn't got him, would have been <laughs> enough if it was on target. Well, still Latin American North, they're three turrets up to one, but they're now behind in gold. The GPL squad have some outer turrets to take down if they can get a couple of kills on over towards Team Isis side of the map. The mid lane outer turret is incredibly low. Ron OP trying to walk away from three graves here that are slowly scaring him out of the river. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty scary sight. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Um, Nazul, I don't know really whether they want to take that queue. There's a lot of those. Uh, Mine's telling me no <laughs> situations in this game where you've you got four graves in front of you. Oh, that's a big kick coming out from Optimus. Knocks one graves into two. Quite a bit of damage coming out there. But they're just going to push the mid tower through. They're probably going to end up losing some damage on bottom tower, but TP comes through to hold it. Yeah, Porky actually teleporting in towards the bottom lane. Now Levy trying to get a flank over here. Oddy's incredibly low. Kicks him oh, into got Oddy. Gets the Sonic Wave as well, but he's been exhausted. Not going to follow up with a resonating strike. But a nice flanky play there. Meanwhile, Porky's being caught up by Celebrity. He's going to be able to quick draw over the wall, but a quick flash comes through by Celebrity to chase him forward. Hits the Sonic Wave. Flash away from Porky. He's trying to heal up. It doesn't connect, and he's out of energy. Porky's going to heal. He's going to heal he's up. He's got so much life steal from that Death Stance. Celebrity just has to run away. Sayer now in a lot of trouble. He's been exhausted. Thunder Lords is going off. He's trying to get back towards his turret. Going to be able to dodge one Sonic Wave. We'll get slowed down by the Cripple from Optimus. But Sayer somehow escapes that one. This is a ridiculous game. It is all about kiting, the Lee's not being next to the walls, the Graves moving back, trying to quick draw away and life steal himself back up before they die in Azul. Oh, they flash it forward for it, but the Sonic Wave is going to connect with Evan RL. Doesn't oh, hit the lot of Graves. Sayer now trying to jump back in. Ron OP safeguards towards a minion. But they do not decide to use their collateral damage there. Oh, Evan RL had his ult, but not confident in the damage that he was doing because they've all gone Death Stance first. It's not exactly the most high damage item. They've gone for survivability over the ability to just kill. And every, um, every one of their team has decided to do just that, except for Oddy at the moment. Yeah, Oddy's gone for the, uh, the, the red smite, trying to just duel a little bit. So, uh, 
Gotta be careful. Bit of trouble. Gets kicked back <laughs> into Celebrity. The alley -oop from the GPL team as he picks it up with his own Dragon Rage. Oh, that was a sweet double kick. Just oh. comes through. Oh, QTV. He's going to knock over RL into a Sonic Wave. levy has gone here, but Nazul's there. Pops the pellet into his face. Now that's the Graves that are chasing on towards the Lee Sins. A little too deep on that play. Is, uh... Ah, oh, Levy thought he was okay. <laughs> thought he had the drop on Evan RL. Meanwhile, yeah. again, mid lane. Yeah, the Lee Sins are waning sneakily inside of the brush. They safeguard over towards a ward to try and get behind Nerd Zul. He pops down the smirk grenade, but it doesn't catch either of the Lee Sins. So they're just going to be able to clear out the waves in the mid lane. GPL squad really wants this mid lane out of turret to fall. It is incredibly low. A couple more pushes would be enough to take that one down. Yeah, a little longer, though, on uh, that time before it goes down. I'm being told that. Oh, Petermus is living up to his team, well, his nickname. He's currently got around 35% of his team's damage done. <laughs> so he's really been laying down the damage to, onto Seiya in that mid lane. We were looking at the early laning phase, and he was always getting Seiya low. Couldn't quite get the kill on a lot of the early phases, but since then, three kills to his name. He's the one with the death stance on uh, the SEA team. You can already see the rest of Team Ice. They're grouping up in that mid lane, trying to defend that turret. Ron OP looking to try and take down a blue buff for himself, but is spotted out by a control ward. Gets a little bit of vision inside of Team Ice's jungle. Oddy will quick draw over the wall and try and stop him from taking the blue buff away. Now, what would be pretty catastrophic for the SEA squad is if these graves pick up Mountain Drake. <laughs> their, their ability Ooh. to push is good enough already. So uh, I don't re Oh, I thought Ron OP got that. I actually <laughs> I actually thought Ron OP got that for a second there. <laughs> oh, so. The knockbacks coming up from Graves. And it should juke out one of his Sonic Waves. He didn't quite get the crippling strike there. So, unfortunately okay. for that American North, they don't pick up the Mountain Dragon. GPL squad still have control of that objective. Well, that's going to, you know, obviously help them out. When they get a couple of kills, it now allows them to push that bit faster. We were talking about how if they're low health, it's difficult to siege up after. More about diving as Porky goes uh, from right up to the top side, right into a sonic wave. QTV decides not to follow up. He's just been split pushing on the top side of the map. He's the only Lee Sin in this game with a teleport. Double Porky. sight stone for the Lees mm. is something that can't really be overlooked. You can see their vision control is fairly significant through the river, through the jungle entrances, whereas Graves doesn't really have that, just relying on trinkets. Yep. See the rest of the leasons that are not picking up side stones, pick up a lot of control wards, so they can continue to safeguard over behind their enemies. QTV and Levy now in the top lane. QTV is going in, trying to get behind Porky, does, knocks him back. Now Levy's there, kicks him into a wall, hits the Sonic Way. Porky's trying to life steal, but it's not a laugh. Levy picks up the kill. Did a decent job at least to hang on, but mid lane is where the real damage is being done because down goes the tower. And with the vision control that these Lees are going to have, it suddenly becomes a lot more dangerous for the Latin American North team to start moving through their own jungle here. If they can't de-ward the areas you in control wards, they can't establish enough vision control at the same time to be able to know where the safe spots are. Well, again, Ron OP moving down in towards the bottom lane. Evan Ariel has not spotted him out. Like you said, not much vision coming out from them just yet. Optimus will land a sonic wave, decides not to follow up. That's oh, he does. He's he got in. Actually, does go in, kicks Evan RL, uses the heal, gets the second sonic <laughs> wave. Optimus gets a solo kill against Evan RL. Even through the summoners, goes right through. Evan RL just cannot stay alive in this game. 0 5 has not been the best of games. Oh no, it certainly has not for Evan RL. He's gone back to base. Oh, I mean, sorry, he's been forced back to base here. He's picked up a zeal for himself. So far, only the death stance is available for most of the graves and just components oh, here and there. Porky. Ron OP is not going to get quite behind Porky as he flashes away from the Dragon's Rage. Yeah, managed to get himself out to a, a decent situation. Porky not doing too badly. I mean, he's got three deaths, but is fairly well farmed. Same as Seiya in that mid lane. But it's been a tough old game. The ice team are trying to kite, trying to kite as effectively as possible. But it's uh, it's a tough ask against five Lee Sins, who can just dive you at any point. <laughs> uh, kiting against one of the most mobile champions in the game. It can be done, a little bit difficult. We'll have to see if they can do that later on. For now, though, it's been a little bit of a lull in this match. It's still 14 to 5. The GPL team has picked up quite a few kills in this match. Uh, majority of them going on over towards Evan RL. 
Oddie will pick up his red buff. It's still 42,000 to 37,000 gold, so a nice 5,000 gold lead for the Southeast Asian team. A nice lead. We'll see if they can convert it into a win. I mean, this is, uh, this is a, a good situation for them to be in right now because they can actually tie up that third place spot in the group with a win here. Of course, it all depends on the 1v1s, and uh, those are our tiebreakers, so we'll see how they end up going on later today. But for Team Fire, of course, they've got the three teams that are going through to the the, the knockout stage tomorrow. That's so right. that race is on. That race is on for those final spots. Latin America North, if I'm not mistaken, still looking for their first win in the tournament. I win three at the moment. Sotomus is continuing to split push in this bottle lane. This time, he's up against Porky, not Evan RL. Levy trying to make his way down in towards the bottom lane, getting behind the bottom lane in a turret. Porky still uh -oh. doesn't quite see him just yet. He's uh -oh. got it behind him. Porky's got to be really careful. Safe guns to a wall, kicks him into the wall, gets two Sonic waves. Another kick comes through. And Optimus oh. is unstoppable after picking up that kill. That pork is pretty tender right now because that was a lot of damage under the mid, uh, the bot tower. Now they're going to take it out. Again, this is the Mountain Drake coming through. As, uh, they can just take these towers as long as they're healthy enough. QTV wants to do the same. Topside doesn't quite land it onto Nazul. But he's going to try it again by the looks of it. He's just standing there. It doesn't really ma matter. So meanwhile, we move down in towards the least inside of the jungle. You can see Levy pick up his own red buff. Optimus going to be working on the wolf camp. And Azul trying to get a ward down over the Baron pit. Gets hit by one OP as well as QTV. He gets kicked twice. Azul's inside the pit. He gets executed as well as QTV picks up that kill. And Evan RL died in the mid lane as well. Celebrity was just going ham. I think he was even in the base. A lot of damage actually coming out from Sayer there. Trying to chip away at the Lee Sins. But doesn't do that much damage. And we've got to a point now where, you know, that time North, they were pushing fairly well with the Graves, but without the ability to take a step through their jungle, they're kind of resigned to sitting under their towers. We've seen this game and game again, uh, game and game after game. Lots of games that they've been sat under their towers. See ya. They're going on top of them. Say a force to flash away. Porky uses his own collateral damage. Here comes Levy, though, kicks Porky into the wall. Two Sonic waves land. And it's going to be Levy that picks up that kill. And the problem is they just keep getting dove because of how far ahead the SCA squad is. It's 18 kills to five. Even TP Lee Sin. Yeah. They're looking for the Baron by the looks of it. Seems like it pops over the Sonic Waves. They're just going to leapfrog over this wall. They've got two control wards here, and they're just going to tear this Baron apart. They put him in the cage. They're in the Moi Fai <laughs> Tiny Ring, and they're just boxing away here. <laughs> oh, no. They got him in the clinch, and they're going to recall out. I mean, this. I, there are now no problems with the siege for these Lee Sins. Uh, absolutely none at all. Celebrity. Walks up, and he's going to go right aggressive. Oh, actually connects with the Q. That's satisfying. Ooh. That is satisfying. Gets helped out of the base, I think it is, inevitably. Just war jumps out. But. Eventually, one of his Lee Sin buddies jump up, gets him out of that base. We can check in with some of the items that have been picked up as well. Two Phantom Dances for the Graves. Another Zeal item being picked up by Oddie. After he got his own Death Stance, Finally, a black cleaver being picked up by Porky in the top lane. On the flip side, lots of different items being picked up at least. You see a last whisper in the top lane with black cleavers all around. A couple of ravenous hydras. You can see Dead Man's Plate here and there. A Guardian's Angel as well for Optimus. He does not want to die. Yeah, he knows what's up. He's just going to go in, you know, get under tower, kill somebody, get the GA proc and dash back out. But there's a couple also Executioner's Callings and Immortal Reminders. Just going to try and cut all the way through the healing. That is going to come from those Vamp Scepters or oh, Ron OP. <laughs> We've seen him uh, not quite connect with his Flash Dragon Rages a few times now. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, if he's deciding to be that risky, he can pull it off. Another drag has been picked up by the GPL team. They've got a Cloud Drake now. They also take down the top lane in a turret. Mid lane in a turret is going to fall shortly after. It's now six turrets to three. They have a nice 12,000 gold and advantage to work bot lane. with. Bot lane's getting pushed in as well. Optimus is pushing this one at the same time. The Graves just can't do enough. Graves normally has decent wave clear, but they're just too far behind. Sayers being kicked twice, gets hit by a sonic wave, but he is able to quick draw closer towards his base. So the first inhibitor turret is going to fall. Meme on the top lane. QTV and Celebrity trying to duke it out with Oddie and Nerzul. But we take a look at the inhibitor. That's fallen. Optimus and Ron OP were able to take that one down. Now he's just meandering through the base of Team Ice. Nerzul's going to get kicked back. <laughs> Another inhibitor turret falls. Now he wants to the inhibitor, but let's see if they go for a fight here. 
The Sands oh. media a few times. River Celebrity goes in, kicks him backwards. He's gonna get taken out. Rotto Peace knocked back Evan RL. The Graves look like they're winning this fight, though, as two Leesons have fallen. They're trying to get the heck out of Dodge now. Maybe not. They might want to go back in for this one. Ultimate's going to kick Porky. No, Zorty jumps on. He's going to go down. Porky's trying to kite away. He has to flash away from the three Lee Sins. Levy won't connect for that final cue, but Ultimate starts. He goes deep into the base. QTV's trying to run away, but Oni does get the shut down. But he's in front of two Lee Sins. Levy kicks him up. Ultimate's will safe going over towards him. Oni's going to use the heal. He's been ignited. Levy picks up the kill. Evan RL, he's out of mana. And they're just going to be able to take him down for the double kill. That's four for three trade. Four for three. Porky's going to to try and do anything he can to hold through, but in Levy goes. He's trying to get as much damage as possible. That's the second inhibitor to fall in this match. Lots of respawn timers for the Graves here. Only Nazul up in the next second or so. This might be all three inhibitors falling here from one swift push from the Southeast Asian team. And you can see Optimus has done such a good job with that GA as well. Was able to keep himself alive through all of that situation. Didn't even get it procced. But this is the difference between the Lee Sin and the inner Lee Sin. Because in Celebrity Goes, tries to go aggressive. So does Ron OP. Suddenly, it all looks a little bit like Kermit the Frog, and they're not really able to do too much from there. But the turnaround comes because Optimus is that Lee Sin on the enemy team, the one that is just so far ahead that is able to take everybody out. Porky tries his best to kite back, but Optimus finds Sia instead, stays alive, doesn't even take much damage from the tower, and from there, the chase is on up onto the top side. Oddie tried to stay alive, but we're back with Optimus and the live screen, and he's already hunting down, I think it's Evan RL, which has not gone well for Evan in the last couple of days. He's certainly out for blood here, Stress. They've got two super minions crashing on towards the Nexus turrets. All the graves have grouped up, the Leesons are piling in on towards the base, slowly trying to see if they can chip away these turrets. The graves, though, with a knockback, doing a really Really good job of turret defense here. The shotgun shell's a little bit too strong for Lee Sin. Just the nug pack, keep them at arm's length, keep them pushed back. Don't ever let the minions get to the turret. This looks like to be the last stand. It's definitely trying to make the most out of it. They're really good at making sure they clear out the waves. Levy tries to go in, but look at Optimus! He's wrapped around Porky, has been hit by the Sonic Wave. He goes in, gets the Thunderlords. Now Ron OP tries to get behind him, and he just can't quite. But he's been kicked. Oh, he a massive more. knock up. Celebrity's now going in. He gets one. He kicks him back in towards the fountain as well. The first turret's going to fall. The second turret's going to fall shortly on, but that's an open Nexus. But they're still out for more blood. No souls the next time, but it doesn't matter because the Nexus is going to fall. And Southeast Asia are victorious. Well, that was a fast game of dives coming out of the SEA region. I mean, what can you really say about that? <laughs> they had a seven kill Lee Sin, a six kill Lee Sin. That was uh, a pretty convincing game. As soon as they got a lead, the tower pushing game did not 